The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Preaxer Zemium Fungicide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Soybean School. I am down in Chatham today talking with Dale Cowan from Agris. How are you doing, Dale? I'm doing fine, Bernard. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm pretty good. Now, I'm watching you walk around the soybean field and that corn field with your phone taking photos. Now, um, what you're doing is actually assessing the canopy of these corn and soybean crops. And I want to talk about the app you're using. But first of all, why is it important that we keep an eye on how those canopies are closing? Well, for me, uh, personally anyways, I like to uh, see differences in varieties, how fast they close uh, the canopy, the different row spacings, uh, the characteristics of the hybrid, how fast they close the row. So it's just something that's observational for me at my level. And also it, it leads to things like uh, understanding, um, you know, let's not underestimate crop competition where we control, understand some of the disease complexes out there, like, you know, how, how fast did we canopy, what was the weather conditions, and all those things that lead to certain diseases. So it's just understanding uh, the canopy cover is, is kind of important. Now you've been using the Canopio app here, walking through these fields. Talk about, I guess, the photos you're taking um, in the corn and the soybean dale, and how you're going to analyze them. Well, uh, so this is an app from Oklahoma State University. It, it's a free app, so uh, and I, I like uh, using it, walking around the field. Just, just uh, you know, you, you got to be, uh, you know, shoulder high above the crop canopy take a still picture and then you hit the process and it turns it into what they call a fractional green canopy cover okay. so a percent of the ground that's covered by green vegetation mm. so it's a really rapid way to figure out uh, just how much ground cover you got going on and your crop establishment and it's even useful for cover crop establishment right. too right so how do i take that information and turn it into i guess management advice in your perspective when you're talking to growers or if i'm a grower management action well, I think too, if, if you're growing different varieties and you're curious about uh, how fast they grow and their growth characteristics and you're thinking of changing row spacing, well, understanding which which varieties of soybeans close the row fastest at 15 inch row or 30 inch row or what happens at seven and a half inch row. And considering most research gets done at 30 inch rows, which we're doing here in this plot, a lot easier to walk and do treatments and make observations. If you're a breeder, a lot easier to do phenotypes in 30 inch rows. And the current wisdom of plant breeding says if a soybean does well in 30 inch rows it's going to do well in any row spacing so uh, so the 30 inch row is, is is what is what research done but just nonetheless for a grower being able to understand how fast uh, the canopy closes and maybe understand a little bit about some of your weed control areas in the field why you got weeds escaping when perhaps the growth is not where it should be yeah. in some of the field so just, just some some information tools to work with and a final thing I mean like uh, we're, we're we're closing canopy on our soybeans now white mold season the density of that canopy and the environment Environment in that canopy is so important to understand, and you can track it with your app. Well, you can. You can you can get a, a canopy cover. You can see where in the field uh, you're at the densest uh, coverage and and timing with uh, flowering and the onset of uh, white mold. Yeah, those are those are just things that are inputs into making a decision. Well, great stuff, Dale. Great to have you on the Soybean School. Excellent. Thanks for having me.